So I brought the dog with me today. So if you're watching this video, we're at the Halpata Tastan Tank Preserve, 15430 Southwest CR 484 in Dunledin, Florida. Um, you know, one of the ways I hadn't talked about this, because uh, the entrance here, you can drive right past it. But uh, there's actually an airport uh, as you're coming down 484, you know, after you cross 200. And uh, if you just, um, when you see that airport, you know that you're going to be making a left uh, pretty shortly, depending on which direction, of course, you, you're, you're coming from. If you're coming from 200, that's what I'm talking about. So uh, I got the dog with me today. So let's exploit him real quick. And uh, so I don't know how far I'll, I'll make it down the trail. He... Uh, he flakes out a lot of the time, and I couldn't bring his his stroller. Let me get get unwrapped here. Um, so we're just going to go down here a ways, and then uh, hopefully I won't end up carrying him out. <laughs> Even for a little guy, I tell you what, he gets heavy if you uh, if you do it. I, and I could have pushed the stroller through here. I just uh, it just hit me. I was because I was going to take him to the uh, the bike trail. But, uh, you know, I'm not sure if dogs are allowed there or not. And uh, I know they're allowed here. Well, I don't know that for sure. I haven't seen a sign saying it, but I have seen a dog here. And uh, I can't believe they wouldn't be. So, uh, anyway, we're just going to go to go a ways down here and uh, see what we see. Hopefully, he'll do all right. He, he usually likes a new adventure, you know. So, this will be kind of a new adventure for him. All right. Peace out for there. I just love getting these on the video. Look at that tree. <laughs> I mean, we do have some crazy trees here in Florida, but I just thought I'd show you what the trail's looking like. Boo's, the boo dog's doing pretty good, so uh, he's uh, he's all peed and pooped at this point, so that's good. And it's another tree there. Look at that. Wow. So kind of opening up into a field. Boy, I tell you, if you just wanted to come and get a day hike, I mean, this seems to me like it'd just be fabulous. I mean, you know, you're just more or less hiking down a road, but... Uh, yeah, the scenery is, is spectacular here. I mean, look at that. Isn't that awesome? So this is a, this is a good hike. Uh, you know, I mean, not a not a whole lot to it. I mean, I'm seeing I've seen some birds. Uh, so if you're a good birding person, this is a good place to come. And uh, we'll just go probably another mile or so. Hopefully, the dog will hang in there. All right. There he is in all his glory. But I can always get the curious stuff. Why is this all tore up right here? I mean, what would, I mean, if it's a farm equipment, why why tear that up? But uh, didn't want to get the view across the, the plane here. Isn't that spectacular? And then curiosity again, coming up on some rock piles or sand piles or whatever. Don't know what that's all about. Um, Dog's doing pretty good, but uh, you can see it's just just, just kind of more or less. There he, there he goes again. Dang on dog. He just this dog doesn't want to walk, man. I, I don't get it. But uh, I had, there, there he goes. He's sprinkling the grass again. Come on, dummy. Let's go. But uh, yeah, look at look at the sand piles. That just seems kind of strange. And it, I swear that looks like a mailbox right there. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a mailbox doing out here in the middle of the woods? I I don't know, you know, some of the bizarre stuff you see here in Florida. By the way, I didn't tell you about it, but there's a, if you go all the way down to the end of that road back there, um, which I did the last time I did Pruitt, was, uh, there was a house there. And, uh, you know, I always love these Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, because the, the, the guy must just take his garbage and just throw it in the yard because there was just garbage bag of upon garbage bag. I swear I've got to open up this mailbox. I'm, I'm gonna see what in the hell is a mailbox doing out here in the middle of the woods. All right. Well, here, come on with me. Let's open this. It's gotta. This is bizarre, isn't it? Let's go over here. Let's just take a look. Hope something doesn't jump out at me. There's a rock in there. <laughs> I, you know, this is a Florida man. All right, let's keep on going. So the trail is making a fork. Now see the birds 
off in the distance here on the right fork. So I'm going to take the right fork. But uh, so I guess you could go either way. The, the road is more or less coming to an end and now you're getting on some grass. So that's uh, that's good. Better on the better on the knees. So, um, boy, I don't think you want to be here on a hot day. Let's. Just... <laughs> but this time of year, I tell you what, it's beautiful out here. I mean, this is really quite extraordinary. I I can't wait to come back and spend a whole day here with, without the dog slowing me down, trying to get him to walk. I'm afraid I'm going to have to pick him up and carry him back to the car, and that that's going to suck because we're pretty far out here at this point. But you can see it's just kind of a grassy road. Whoops. There he goes again. All right, so let's uh, let's just keep on going. But I wanted to show we're just down from those rock piles. I have no idea what that rock pile is all about. Hopefully I'm getting these birds on the video. Look at them. Very majestic how they soar around. That's why I came this way so we could get them on the video. Boy, I had a couple right above me. Look at them way up there. Of course, you got these right here. All right, let's keep, keep on going. So two things on this hike. You wouldn't want to come here right after a rain because this would be a muddy mess. And I uh, do have water on both sides, so you could run the risk of a gator along here, I, I would imagine. The other thing, too, that I'm seeing a lot of is uh, poo, um, horse poo, dog poo, you name it, so you're gonna have to kind of be careful where you're putting your feet. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't think you, you, you wouldn't want to be here after a, a big rain, at least on this section of the trail anyway. And uh, of course, and then maybe not bring the dog next time because <laughs> I can't, can't get him to move, stupid dog. There he goes. All right, but I just thought I'd, uh, this might be the last video. You just kind of, Walking down a more or less a road, like I said, you wouldn't want to be here on a hot day. There's not much shade, um, and I'm just sticking to the middle so that I don't get my shoes all muddy. Um, so, but and a lot of horses have been through here. You can see the uh, the horseshoe horseshoe marks right there. So imagine, uh, you know, on a normal maybe on a weekend, you might you probably get to see some horses if you come back here. But I'm gonna have to turn around here soon with the dog because. Uh, I don't want to be carrying him back a long ways and uh, we're not a huge ways out here but uh, certainly wouldn't want to carry him now all right so uh, we've come all the way down that road and this is nice because uh, if it was a hot day looks like we're heading back into the forest here so a nice contrast to the trail quick story for you guys <laughs> you know I always love telling stories I couldn't believe it, man. I got this water bill, you know, because the, the bag of bones moved out of the house and stole everything. But uh, anyway, I, I'm looking at this water bill and I'm thinking, something's got to be wrong. I mean, no way that anybody could use this much water because I was only gone about two or three weeks before, you know, I found out she had a moving van in front of my house. And so I, I actually went to the water place and I, the bill was for real. My wife used 17,000 gallons of water while I was up in Virginia helping my mother. Now, how is that possible unless she did it on purpose and just cut the shower on, ran it. So, but uh, anyway, I did want to show you the trail here. This is really, really nice. Probably going to have to turn back here shortly. I kind of hate it, you know, but I had to get the dog out here. He's been stuck in the house keeping me company for a couple of days. I got a little depressed, and uh, so I figured I owed him a day a day out and with a new adventure. But look, at once again, the trees, look at that. Pretty awesome. But uh, at least you've got some shade now if it was a hot day. So this would be nice uh, maybe in, a, in, you know, in the spring when things start warming up. So I always like to pick a landmark to turn back. Like I said, we didn't do much today. Look at that tree. <laughs> that's insane. I bet that trunk, I'd say, anyway, but I just saw this structure right here. I wonder what, wonder what this used to be, you know? 
maybe something, well, it's too short for horses. Maybe just a place to, uh, like a shelter that they put here on the trail that's just falling apart. Kind of bizarre. But anyway, the trail just kind of continues on. I don't want to get too far out here with the dog and have him poop out on me and not be able to get back. Um, but, I, you know, I was looking at all of this. You know, if you if you wanted to, to backpack, this would be a great place to camp, you know, right back in here. Uh, I know it's probably not permitted, but who's going to catch you? You know, catch me if you can. Um, so there's another crazy tree. Look at that thing. All righty. Peace out. Stay free. We'll do the mantra. Freedom. Oh, freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no jabs, no masks, and no lockdowns. So, uh, oh, by the way, you know, Joe Biden just uh, told everybody, be sure and wear a mask inside. Be sure and wear your mask, people. I mean, you know, they got to stay safe. You know, make sure you got that mask on. I guess all them people that just robbed the uh, Best Buy up in Minneapolis, they were probably masked up, I bet. You know, a whole mob of them just <laughs> stole everything. <laughs> Boy, I wouldn't live in a Democrat city. You couldn't pay me enough money to live in a Democrat city. Or a progressive, I guess, progressive Democrat city. I mean, I, you know... How in the world shoplifting is, is not a crime? I, I don't know, but they seem to they seem to think it's A-OK. -okay. I don't see how any business stays in business in a Democrat city. I, I just, I, from what I understand, there aren't, aren't many Walgreens left in San Francisco. So I can't believe there's any left. <laughs> I would have just boarded everything up and said, the hell with this, man. We can't make no money when they steal everything. All right, peace out. Stay free. So I decided to come back on the bicycle and take the other fork because I saw somebody else on a bicycle there's two people on horses and uh, so we got this little fence here and I'm just going to continue on down this road for a ways plus well I didn't get a good workout with the dog so I figured I'd go out with the bike you know I got him in the shade and it's a nice cool day and I put some water in there for him so don't think I'm being mean to the dog he was good and tired anyway. He was, he was ready to lay down and get some rest. All right, so let's get going. So this is a really nice touch. So I came down that road. Scenery's kind of looking the same, but you got a picnic bench here a ways down, so you could stop and have a picnic or just walk down here. Then you got this weird, I guess it used to be a tree. I don't know, somebody carved, carved into it. And then we got this, uh, nice to have these little shelters you know because if you did get caught out here in a big storm it just uh, looks like it's detailing uh, the ecosystem plants and animals that you're going to see out here let's see what's on the other side nothing on the other side i wonder what these tubes are who knows but you can see the cobwebs <laughs> but i mean you could stand underneath here if it was you got caught in a big bad storm you know they could have made the roof a little bit bigger than that so I can continue on down. Looks like this road right here. Although it looks like it's getting muddy on me. So may have to walk the bicycle or just leave it and get some hiking in. So, uh, but it's been an easy ride. I mean, I haven't been mountain biking in a very, very long time. So this was a good, a good test, you know, to see if I can still do it somewhat. And uh, I mean, as easy as it, an easy mountain bike ride for sure so i'm just going to walk the area and see what's down here and then uh and who knows i may have to get back to the dog all right so looky here see this is why i walk the area there's a, another road going off to the right which looks like it'd be a big bit of an easier ride than going to the left up here so uh let's get going so that's why you walk the area. So I was seeing that from back there where the picnic table is. And it uh, looks like what they've done is they re-rotted the uh, trail going around that. And they got it marked. So I guess uh, what they need to do now is, is uh, fence this off so that area can reclaim. But they have re-rotted the trail. This would be a nice hike, I think. Uh, I don't think I want to ride my bike through there. So I'm going to take the other route with the bicycle and then uh, someday we'll come back and and get this hike in all right so you're not all alone back here i've seen two people on horses 
and I just passed a ranger. Boy, I tell you, that would be a heck of a job, wouldn't it? Imagine a job where you just ride around in the forest. You know, I would love that. <laughs> but this is kind of what it looks like right here. So I uh, kind of moving around the turn. Gonna have to turn back here shortly. Can't leave the dog too long in the car, but uh, I, this is a great, uh, if, you're, if you're like me, you're fat and old and haven't been mountain biking in a while, this would be a great place to come to get, get, get your body in shape for you know some more difficult trails like at the Santos. Because uh, it's an easy ride so far, you know, a little bit technical in some places because the, uh, you know, the, the road narrows down because it's all wet and nasty. And so, you know, you, it, it's not perfect, but this is a great place to get started on mountain biking. Or you could really spend some time back here. This place is huge. There's another road there. I walked down it a ways. Uh, you could bike it. I mean, if you've got a good mountain bike or you're you're in good shape, I I probably shouldn't try it. At least not yet. Not until I get in better shape. But you can see the roads just going on this way. I'm gonna go probably another five or ten minutes and then get back to the car and get the get the dog and. Uh, I don't know, I was gonna go down to that other park at Dunledden, but I, don't, I think I'll just head on home at this point. Boy, you could come back here a bunch of times, man. There goes another road off of that direction. I'm still going down this way. Ah, uh, quite beautiful here. Sun's getting a little low on me. I'm gonna have to turn around here soon, but, uh, and uh, just a uh, FYI, you know, my tires are a little thin, and so it did get sandy back there, and. Uh, you know, this bike's not made for the deep sand, for sure. And uh, so I almost went over, but uh, it, it smoothed back out. So it wasn't, wasn't too bad, but uh, you really should have a, a good, a better mountain bike. This is kind of a, a hybrid, you know, street slash mountain bike. All right. So in the words of Arnold, I'll be back. But you can see how it's, it's getting sandier and sandier. So. If I do come back, I'm going to bring my mountain bike. I got a, I got another bike that I bought way back. It's got the, the wider, fatter tires. And uh, I don't know what they're doing here. I just thought I'd get this on the video because I'm turning back. It's, don't, want to, uh, don't want to be out here too late. But you can see it's going on this way. I'm going to hike for just a bit to stretch my legs and then get back on the bike and head back. You know, one thing I didn't think of... Uh, you know, and it's sitting in my car. <laughs> Probably should have brought the bear spray because, uh, I mean, I am way to hell back here for sure. Uh, this place is monstrous. So I bet there's a lot of bear in here. So, uh, you know, being by myself, I, I'm not too worried about it riding the bike. Cause, but uh, when you're just out walking like I am right now, you know, I, I feel a little, little naked without the bear spray. So, uh We'll be heading on back here shortly. I just got to stretch my legs before I get back on that bicycle. Plus, this is so beautiful. You know, you just don't want to end the day. When you get out like this, you know, you just, it's like, oh, man, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I want to keep going. I want to keep hiking. I want to keep biking. Don't want to go home. Uh, only some water right there. Looks like it used to be kind of a road. I don't know, but you could, you know, you see what I mean? You could come back and just go this way. Who knows where that goes? I mean, you could really spend a long time back here riding around and walking around. You know, this is, uh, this is the thing that baffles me about uh, Central Florida. If you, if you go to the Santos Trail, those mountain bike trails, you'll see a hundred people, you know, uh, just riding the trails and all around there and I'm not that far away and you see nobody here I mean this would be a great place to, to just spend a day mountain biking now granted it's not as, as challenging probably as or as fun but I mean just it just it, it you could take some of these roads and you know they're they're a lot more difficult than what I'm riding you know so if you uh you could explore back here for probably weeks before you cover all these trails. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I just, uh, I just, you know, I find these places 
And it's like nobody in Central Florida knows this stuff exists. You know, well, the horseback riders, of course, uh, in the area here know, know about this, but uh, I haven't seen a single hiker or a, or a single uh, biker. I mean, look at this. You could just ride and ride. This would be fun. We'll be back for sure. Peace out. Stay free. So I walked down the uh, the left fork here because they rerouted it around that, that muddy area. And if anything, that trail is a, it's even prettier than where we were because it kind of goes into the trees and you feel like you're uh, you're under the canopy of the trees there. I, I only probably went in about a quarter, half a mile, but uh, that would be a wonderful hike or even mountain bike. I mean, you know, you could, you could definitely bike it um, so, uh, I don't know, you know, I'd have to do the rest of the trail, but on a sunny day, you get a lot more shade on that trail than you do on the right fork here, which is where, where we went today. Boy, you could spend, well, I don't even know if we'll get the Florida trail in this year. Cause I, I think I could spend a couple, three months back here, just trying to hit all these trails. This place is incredible. See, this makes no sense to me. This area will be closed December 3rd through the 5th for a special permitted youth event. They're going to close down. <laughs> I mean, how many miles is this park? I mean, it, hundreds of miles of park for a youth event. Now, I don't see how they, they're going to have to have a hell of a lot of kids to, to have them all over this park. I can tell you that. Hey, one thing I did notice, uh, I just thought I'd finish up here. I looked at the wildlife sign up there. Uh, and I ran into a woman. She was she was way deep in there, so she doesn't seem too concerned about bears. But nowhere here have I seen anything beware of bear. So I don't know. Maybe maybe they they've taken them out. I can't believe there wouldn't be one in here. She she looked like she had no fear, and uh, like I said, the sign doesn't show anything about bears. So uh, anyway, peace out.